Whether it's GPS, Google Maps, Apple Maps, or some other application, navigating the modern world typically has one goal. What's the quickest way to get from here to there? It sounds simple, but consider road networks, street closures, and rivers running through a city. Today's map programs are by necessity complex, but many of them owe a lot to one simple algorithm from the 1950s. This is Algorithmics, the space where we explore how invisible, computer-controlled, database sets of rules are making decisions for us every day. It's called Dijkstra's Algorithm, and it aims to solve what's known in graph theory as a shortest path problem. Created by Dutch computer scientist Exter Dijkstra, the algorithm calculates the shortest route from point A to point B by plotting the map as a sort of graph. Here's how it works at a basic level. Different points on the map, like intersections or destinations, are called nodes. The algorithm begins at the node of your starting point, then calculates distances to the nodes nearby to figure out which is the closest. Then the algorithm repeats the cycle with that node, measuring the shortest distance to the next node and the next, and continues this process until it reaches the destination node. It's a relatively simple algorithm, but Dijkstra's work has had lasting effects. In the 60s, researchers used it to create an algorithm called ASTAR, which uses heuristics to estimate approximate distances and solve the problem quicker. While companies like Google and Apple won't reveal the tech behind their mapping systems, they're likely built on a number of algorithm-based systems, from ASTAR to contraction hierarchies to hub labeling. And all of these systems owe their beginnings to Dijkstra, who showed us that the quickest way from point A to point B is the algorithm. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.